started back? How did that come about, and what, what do you like about what you can bring you guys? I mean, it kind of came about organically once we, yeah, I, did, I was surprised. When I first uh, saw it on the National Wire, is when I first found out he was going in, uh, going in the portal, I didn't, I really had assumed that he was planning on coming back, you know, for another year. Didn't really, so busy with what's going on with our world, I didn't really pay attention to what was going on with him. And then somebody sent me that, you know, off the National Wire that he was going in. And then, you know, we obviously, once he, once he officially went in, there was contact pretty immediately on his end. And, um, and so it came about pretty organically in that re in that regard, and then uh, ended up being just a good fit. Somebody uh, kind of fit a need of what maybe kind of um, you know somebody that we were looking for, and obviously something that he was looking for. So uh, it brings you know obviously experience and um, and uh, as a veteran who knows how to play football and uh, be a good addition to to our room. And excited about the room. Uh, I was excited about the room before we added Takari. And we feel that way very strongly, and it's just a nice kind of icing on the cake, so to speak. It's just familiarity with you. I don't know if that would accelerate possibly any process, but is there anything that plays in there? Well, it won't decelerate it, that's for sure. You know, um, I would think that was probably one of the contributing factors of selling points here is just there was some, you know, I, I, I would say there's probably 75% continuity and terminology from what he knew a few years ago to what we're doing now. We're always, you know, our offense is like a, it's like a, it's a growing, breathing, uh, living type organism, you know, and if it's not if it's not breathing, it's dying, and we always want to grow, and so we're always adding and manipulating and changing words for the better, and so there's some familiarity there, uh, but obviously the fact that, you know, that he knows a baseline level of that will be helpful for his transition. Because you've seen Luke now, we don't want to mm -hmm. for more than a moment on the second year. How yes. much better does look to you now than when you first got him How's that well, I'll say he's more comfortable in every facet. Uh, he's more comfortable in offseason. He's more uh, vocal around his team. He knows me better. Uh, all those things are just uh, contributors to him uh, improving, uh, just like our whole football team needs to, our whole offensive football team. You know, another year in the offense, another year of growth, especially for uh, what well, he was a first-year player last year. So we're excited to see where that where that goes and excited about just the development of the room in general, the quarterback room. I think we took some big strides there in the spring. But ultimately, um, that's just a, a springboard, no, no pun intended, for what we're trying to get down in the fall, and that's where it matters. And so hopefully we're going to see that just come to fruition on, on Saturdays this fall. Quarterback recruiting appears to be one pretty well. Mm -hmm. like, what, what are you kind of selling to kids, and is there a particular skill set or profile that you're looking for? Well, um, yeah, we just like good players, you know. Uh, it's kind of like, yeah, just like good players. And I uh, felt like we, we've zeroed in on one uh, here locally um, in this class that – done a good job with obviously can't comment on that you know but um and then i think art has uh art has, has done a really nice job for us uh, and in particular with the position of just being um you know he's been my eyes and ears and he's really aggressive and getting guys in front of me and getting guys on campus and we are collectively as a group and uh, i think that pays off so you know you only is going to take one of them you got to be right and uh, we feel like we've been right in a lot of cases so far and so that creates a lot of depth and a lot of competition. That's what you need at this position at this level to be successful. Is the scheme something that attracts the quarterbacks to, to the school? Well, I mean, uh, I, we would hope that it would be, you know, and uh, obviously the university is a great sell. Coach Bielema has got a tremendous track record of development, um, you know, from in my in my short time of being a coordinator, you know, which would be the last four years of being a coordinator again in, in college football. Uh, you know, I think the, the quarterback production has been something that's been uh, solid and something that we can sell it hasn't been perfect there's there's things we'd like more out of that position but i think guys and quarterbacks have seen that the system uh and what we're doing uh is is quarterback friendly and we've gotten good results of that and uh, i think the guys are drawn to that okay, one more mm -hmm. you played a little bit in the slot with you and Ash talked about mm -hmm. maybe interested in, in being more close to what i say i mean well, I think anytime you add a player that's they got experienced and had experience at playing uh, three different positions, and uh, I know for me directly as an offensive coordinator, I've experienced him playing three different positions for for me, um, and so I think that opens up some flexibility for where he might fit and how he might fit. And it's all TBD. Listen, we're we we added another piece of the puzzle in the room that that we felt good about, uh, a good balance of uh, maybe now maturity and, and, and youth and guys in between. And it's going to take a village there at that position, and we're excited about all of them and the opportunities that they're going to get because they're going to all have a lot of opportunities. 
Um, and, and so it's our job to figure out how those pieces of the puzzle. But yeah, sure, there's some natural fit. The more guys you have that can play more positions at that, in that, uh, that room, the better off you're going to be. And so Isaiah did that for us last year. Played out of Zeke, it played X. Pat's played in the slot some. Um, you know, so Hank's played on the perimeter. So the more that they, they know, the better opportunities it creates for themselves. In terms of your camp series, Barry, in mm -hmm. June, um, do you like how that works? And do you, do you guys take a lot of time to figure out how that's going to work from a instruction standpoint? I get a lot of kids tell me the instruction they get at Illinois is uniquely different than a lot of other places they go to. Well, that's good to hear. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's like uh, like Coach B would say, how you do one thing is how you do everything, right? You know, and so we want to – we want to give a camp experience for, you know, whatever the percentage of guys that come to camp are going to be actual recruits, you know, whatever that is. It varies from camp to camp. But obviously not every player that comes to camp is going to be a sure. a college prospect. Right. Um, and so we would hope that when they come and spend time with us, when they leave, they can take something away from that experience to learn, uh, to help them become a better player. We take great pride in that. I'm not saying we're doing it better than anybody else. I can't speak for what other people are doing for. But Specifically, I, I've heard that like the numbers being smaller allows for more one-on-one. -on -one, yeah, sure. You know, instruction. Oh, there's some truth to that. Yeah, there's a lot of truth to that. I mean, we had, you know, we had what, for instance, we had I think 18 quarterbacks the other day, and had three people work in the camp, sure. so you had a six-to-one ratio. So I was able to see all 18 of them throw and give some feedback, and you know, we film everything too. And so, yeah, we want them to have a great experience. All the while, obviously, we get a chance to evaluate for whether it's for now, for later, for two years from now. Uh, shoot, we, there was a kid the other day in my position that was here that's going to be a freshman in high school that, you know, is probably going to be a college recruit at some point in time. It's hard to hard to fathom, right. but, you know, you start early, and that's that's one of the benefits of the camp as well. The Eddie Fields guys are great at offense, and it seems like Luke's just got a lot of options and the skill, and even the way you added the offensive line, it seemed like you have some protection. What, what do you feel like you accomplished this offseason? Well, I think we've done a good job as a team, uh, you know, and obviously on our side of the ball, I think every addition that we've made is, um, I think, pretty much clearly showed that they're going to be able to help us in some shape or form, and that's always positive. And, um, and I think, you know, we're probably getting towards the end of that now. Obviously, we don't have a lot of room for many additions this, at this point. This is kind of who our roster is. And uh, depth is critical. It's a physical league. It's a physical, brutal schedule, you know, and I'm just saying in the Big Ten, I mean, it's a brutal schedule for everybody, you know, who – who you play and the, the physicality of the league, and you got to have some quality depth there because you can get thin in a hurry, uh, you know, in, in certain situations if you're not careful. So I feel, feel like we've addressed that as a team. Offensively, I feel good about the depth there, all positions, and uh, now let's go piece this together and, and, and start weaving together what we're going to look like for the fall of 20, 2024 and, and, and put our best foot forward.